Hello friends, today is the beginning of our last week and we will be doing something called the Colonial Knot. To prepare for tomorrow, we will be attaching what we make with our Colonial Knots to our fabric as an attached slip. We'll be doing the Colonial Knots on a separate sheet of fabric, so definitely use any leftover fabric that you have if you bought the kit. We're going to be making our own little clouds over here with the Colonial Knot, so tomorrow we can take these clouds, cut them out, and attach them to our fabric as stump work so we can have that 3d effect with our embroidery we'll be using a matte cotton thread to give it that really fluffy cloud like texture and the kit comes with these colors here of the darker brown the pink the yellow and the white and those numbers are 2407 2818 2745 and Necro. These come in the kit and they're what I did on the original piece, but I wanted to try to see if I can mimic a different kind of cloud, a sunset, you might say. So I started messing around with some other colors, some blues that I have, and those colors are, if you're wanting to mimic them, the same uh, yellow, pink, and cream, but then you'll be adding the blue 2933 and 2800. That way you can kind of get maybe a different type of cloud. If you don't have access to matte cotton, and you're still wanting to do the clouds, a good alternative is to take your six strand embroidery floss and to double it up. So instead of six strands of embroidery floss, you would use 12 strands and that will kind of give you the same thicker effect to your cloud versus the regular six strand embroidery floss. But pearl cotton could work too. Once again, you'd probably want to double up on it as well to get the thickness that you would get with the matte cotton. The needle we're going to be using is going to be the chenille 18 needle because of the thicker matte cotton. You may be asking, why are we doing another knot? Why couldn't we just do the French knot? Well, I like to teach this knot to those who are having a hard time doing the French knot. I feel like it's slightly easier to understand and do. Come up through the fabric and you'll take the thread and you'll make a backwards C with it. Then you'll take your needle and you'll lay it on top of the thread. Take the needle and go underneath the top part of the loop. Okay, so you just kind of rotate underneath. Then you take this thread here, making sure to hold on here with your thumb, and you're gonna drape over the needle, creating a little figure eight, okay? That's how you'll know if you're doing it right. You'll see a little figure eight here. You will take your needle and you will rotate it like you do with the French knot. You will go into the fabric, take your thread, tighten it, pull it down, and push your needle through. And that is a colonial knot. But yeah, go ahead and fill in your clouds because tomorrow we're going to be taking these and we're going to be cutting them out and we'll be attaching them to our pattern um, as some stump work. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know it's our last week. If you are just now tuning in and you want to get started, don't feel like you can't. Head on over to DMC to download the pattern. While you're there, you can get some supplies. Just use the code GULAXDMC at checkout for 15% off. You also can just grab whatever you have near you. You don't have to worry about getting every specific type of thread. Just don't hesitate to get stitchy and to start playing with it because it's a lot of fun. I will see you guys tomorrow.